What is going on guys? Team is Swift 22 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create um like rotational sprites as you can see here. I just used an imp but we'll use different sprites today. Um so you can make a eight sprite rotational character. So um basically every time you go around it's just changing what the um sprite is. So yeah, um, so first off what you want to do is create a new folder and I'm just going to call this um, enemy, I'm just going to call this enemy underscore rotations, boom. So inside here you are going to take your um, eight rotational sprites here I have the doom shotgunner and it's a good idea if you label them the back front front right front left all that um, so I'm just going to drag those all in so now what you want to do is um, click on each one turn on chroma key texture and then click on it and use the eyedropper to get a nice um, clean sprite you got to make sure that the background color isn't the same as the um like the color of your sprite so just do that with every one okay so now that we have all those done what you're going to do is select all of the pictures you have here and you're going to um, select sprite actions then create sprites so now this will make sprites for um, each picture you have here so next what you want to do is just in the same folder you can create a new blueprint class and just make it in pawn I'll just do a pawn right now that's what my other ones were and I'll just call this call it enemy I guess so inside here um, a few things that you want to do first you want to add a capsule collision like this I'm going to turn my camera speed down a little bit but just drag this up till it's about on the ground like that's good enough for now and then we will add a sprite here a paper sprite and you can just make it the front for now. This technically doesn't matter, but yeah. So just drag it up and get it to about the size that you like. So now if we drag this in here, he's pretty small, but we'll fix that later. So what you want to do is go into the event graph and get rid of the event begin play and the event actor begin overlap you just need the event tick so next what you want to do is drag out here and make a print string don't change this right now we'll change that later and then you want to get player pawn here so I have that then drag out and get actor location there we have that right there then type get actor location again this is um, this gets the location of the character which is the first person character in this level and then this gets the location of the sprite or our enemy here so next you can drag off of here and find the lookout rotation so um, you're going to take this one and drag it into the target there we go and next what you want to do is 
um, split this struct pin here and then you're going to take the um, yaw here and you're going to put it into the print string so that will convert it into this um, thing here then we can take this and drag it up and things like that so next you're going to drag out a branch there we go and off of the yaw input here we're going to get a so less than so put that in there just keep this at zero so this is basically going to lead into our second part which you're going to need eight compare floats four for true four for false so what we're going to do next is add all the values um, for the compare widths because we're going to take this and drag it into each input so now we have that and what you're going to do is just follow along and type in all the values that I put in here so the first one is negative 45 then negative 90 135 sorry negative 180 then here you're going to put 180 135 90 and 45 so um, the first part the first part here is pretty much done now we just have to add um, a bunch of more print strings and setting all the sprites so this is when it gets similar to my other tutorials where I taught you how to um, add a weapon here like this so in our enemy what we're going to do is we're going to get eight print strings so we have eight print strings and then you're going to label each one um, as I do here so the first one is front make this capital right back left and then here are your um, diagonal angles so we have front right front left back right and back left and there you have it so next what you're going to do is um, connect up all these inputs just follow along it can get a little bit confusing but I'll try and make it as um, the least confusing as I can so off of this negative 45 you're going to drag this top one to front and then double click here and drag this onto it so now it merges these two lines so then it's a lot neater and you're going to do that with every one just in different places so the second one here um, this one is going to go to the front left so you drag this down to front left double click drag that there the third one is going to just left so you're going to take this connect it to left double click drag that in there there you go now um, this one will be going to back left so you're going to drag down all the way to back left double click drag this one here now this bottom one is going to a different spot so this one will go up to back here we go so now we're over here again this 180 will go to the front right so we're going to drag this one to front right double click again 
drag that in there. The next one, the 135. This one is going to back. So we are going to drag this one over there. Double click, drag that there. Next one, the 90 degrees is going to back right. So we're going to drag this one over, select that. Now it's at the back right. This 45 is going to right. So this one is going to drag up. I'm going to double click that one again. There we go. And then this last one is going to go to front right. And that pretty much does it so far. So now when we play this, it's telling us where we are. So you're going to drag off and make eight set sprites. So the first one here is the front. Um, so make sure that these are the same. Um, so, right, there we go. The next one is the back. Then we have the left. Then front right. There we go. Front left. Back right. and then back left. So, now that is set up, but here's the only problem. First of all, it looks really odd because as you can see the angles are all messed up. And obviously he's really tiny. So, this is the side. This would be the front here, but He's rotated the wrong way. So we need to figure out which way he rotates. So, um, for the front here, we are actually just going to rotate this guy so he's in the correct position, I guess. So now, when we are in the front, he's facing us. But now we need to change all these other inputs. So in the event graph, we are going to set actor rotation. Now once again, we need to make this eight times. Now we're only going to mess with the Z rotation, which is the yaw, which is like rotating how you would normally think, like left or right. So the first one we can keep at zero, but the second one is negative 90. This just rotates it the correct way. And then next one is zero. And then the next one after that is 90. Then next up, we have 35, then negative 35, then 100, and then 50. So some of these um, like will vary with the sprite, so um, these are just the settings I used to create the imp that I showed in my last video, but um, we may have to change them here. So here, as you can see, it is rotating the wrong way here. So when he's left, he should be rotating the opposite way. So there's two ways we can fix this. So first of all, we can change this to the right side but that might be a little bit confusing. So what we'll do is for the right and left sides, we'll switch the right to 90 and the left to negative 90. So now he should be rotated in the 
correct direction here. So as you can see, the rotation is correct now. Now as you can see some of the sprites are a little bit messed up, like this one here. So what we can do to fix this is just like change the rotation a little bit. Um, I think that I will have to change that one there because it's pretty much 90 degrees now. So the back right one, we'll check this one out. So back right, we will set it to maybe 130. Let's see how that one works out. So now the rotations are okay for the most part. So front right, I'll change to front left, and front left, I'll change to front right. So let's see if that will fix the issue. Now that seems to fix it. So now what you want to do is just um, go into your viewport here. You might want to scale this, like lock the scale and scale it by maybe 4. And scale this by 4 as well, probably. Maybe even 5. 5 would probably be better. So, now just drag this up. And as you can see, you have a rotating sprite. Sorry for the slightly confusing tutorial here. But if you want um, want to fix these, you should be able to um, like figure it out yourselves. Um, so just make sure you play around the rotations and get to the settings that you like the most. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Team Ace Biff 22 out.